Hi there all my fish friends. Um, today I'm going to be doing my video. I'm going to be totally redoing this tank. I'm going, as you can see, I have this uh, blue and black um, rock substrate in it. And my plants were getting a little carried away. I just trimmed them back today. So I've already done that. But, and this poor guy, he needs to be put into a smaller tank. There's my little quarries running around looking for lots of food, but I wanted to, I'm going to be today I'm going to be putting a sand substrate in actually I'm doing sandblasting sand and I'm doing it in black And There's my angel so he'll look really cool in here um, My whole plan with this tank at one point was to uh, put in all black fish and such but uh, I've changed that around obviously so stay tuned and watch my video and let's see what happens so here's my uh, container that I'm going to use to put the fish in for now because uh, I will be draining this entire tank and moving it. Um, so there's my python. Everybody should own a python. If you do not own a python, go out and buy yourself a python. It is the best piece of equipment you'll ever own. I, never, I will never carry buckets again. Um, I sacrificed one day and said that's it. I'm spending the money buying a python and I don't regret it in the least. So there's an idea, a plan for you. Next step in this tank is kill the power. So pull the plug. Let's pull the plug. Come. There we go. So now it's time to start draining the tank. So what my plan here is, is I'm going to bring the tank down. I'm moving some of the fish. And there's my little Daniels. Some of them are going to go straight over to my 20 gallon. And my new angel fish are all going into this tank for now. So I'm also going to clean up the filter, which I haven't done in quite a while. I'm going to, I don't know, just straighten out all the plants and have some fun today. And do all my substrate. So, there we go. Just start taking the time to show you also. This is what I bought. It's called Clean Blast. It's an all-purpose abrasive. It's an 80-pound bag. It's a little too much for what I want. Um, and I opened it up here to show you. But it's black. It has a nice sparkle to it, as you can. I think the camera's picking that up. So that's what's going into my tank. Okay, so I'm just going to fill up this bucket, this uh, tote that I got, this tote I've had ever for uh, quite a while, actually at one point when I uh, had to move from a house to an apartment, I used it as a, uh, my aquarium to transfer my fish because we weren't planning to live in the apartment very long. So I had all my fish living in it, which was at the time I only had a 20 gallon. Uh, we had them living in it for three months. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in my filter. If you can see it, that filter on it, and pull out all my fish. So that's coming up. I'm going to have to take care of these. Because I don't think I can submerge this and all this is planted on here. So I'm going to have to make sure. Well, can I rip that off? Most of it. Hmm. This is my favorite piece of driftwood. And it's heavy.
Okay, so not sure where to continue with this at the moment. That's a Java fern doing really nicely. I think I'm gonna let it finish training. Okay, as you can see, I have accomplished what I want. If you look, I don't know if you can see them, but there's what I think. I think I have one fish left in here, so I still have to try to fish him out. But as you see, the water is pretty darn dirty, so I guess that ain't gonna happen right away. I have everything now down in here for the time being. All the angels and all my plants. I gotta keep them all wet. I got a filter in there. So I'll be back in just a moment after I figure out how to fish him out. Well, I think I'm going to leave him because he's staying anyways. But i got to get rid of all the substrate now and clean the tank up. All right, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now i got all the substrate out and i got everything out. I, if you can take a look, you can see how dirty the tank is. So now it's time to give it a wiping. Get it all wiped down so that uh, it'll look good again. So I'm just going to take my used green scrubby. I never use a new one. I always try to make sure that I get them used up a bit before I actually start doing them on the glass because I don't believe that the new ones they're just too new. So I wear it out a bit first before I use it on here. I never put it with any uh, detergent or anything. I'm going to leave the back alone because as you see I have a black background so I'm not going to clean it. Just so that there's still some algae in the tank. Don't want to drop my light into the tank. Okay so next step there's all the rock that I pulled out. I was kind of lucky. I pulled out the last little bit and looked down and there was two little daniels running around in the bottom of the pail. So I was able to fish them out. And here's everybody. Let's see. Let's take a look. Here's everybody in here somewhere. That almost looks nice. I kind of like this. Maybe I should uh, set something up like this. Do a guppy tank underneath my uh, 50 gallon. <coughs> Excuse me. And over here on the other side of the room, I've put a new light on my 20 gallon. All my angels, do they know what's going on? You guys are all moving today. New home, here we go. That'll be fun. Yeah, I put a new light, an LED light on my new 20, so it's a lot brighter now. So you can actually see. Mama and the other guppies. I moved two of the other guppies in today. So let's get back to work. Okay, so now it's fill time. As you can see, filling her up. It's starting to look good. You see the thickness of my substrate now. There's my prime. Got to add that. Because of my little fishies, they're all still sitting down in here. <coughs> so I'll get back to you in a few once I get the tank filled. I think it's starting to look good. Okay, here we go. Um, sorry, oops, let's get the fingers out of the way. Sorry to uh, um, not lead you through the whole process, but it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So this is actually the next day. I've done all the moving of the fish. I've set up the substrate. The tank has cleared. 
Um, just to remind you all that what I've used is sandblasting sand. So if anyone's interested in finding a cheap alternative, it was like $12 for 80 pounds. And I think it looks great. So let's take a fast, nice look at my new uh, landscaping, or aquascaping, I guess I would call it. I, mean, I used to be a landscaper, so it's kind of hard to not use that. Um, I've put uh, everybody in the tank who's going to be in the tank. I had a bit of an issue with the uh, my black velvet um, long finned. He kind of decided he was. it's his tank. He was going to bully everyone I put in, so I've removed him for now going to figure out what I'm going to do with him later but so here you go here's you guys know what the tank looks like here's what it looks like after and there we go got the new angels in it I got my new substrate in it, which I think looks just great. Got all the plants done, got all the everything set up the way I think I'm gonna like it. Let's see if we can turn off that one light if it makes a difference. Not really. That's this. Maybe that's the sun coming in. So there's the angels, they seem to be happy in their new home. One thing I wanted to mention to you also is I bought this Sun Sun, um, it was on um, Amazon, it was like two for 24 bucks. If anybody ever wants to consider buying themselves a uh, wave maker, powerhead, whatever you want to call it, there's an argument going on, I call it a wave maker because it lets out more of a wave than it does a uh, like a powerhead that would set out a solid jet. Um, Awesome buy, can't can't say no to it. Also, I I'm a big Amazon fan, so also there's my heater or my thermostat, so I always know what the temperature of the tank is. That was like three four dollars, so I'm happy. I have a project I want to come up with. You see all the um, Java moss I have. Plus I have some in the other tank. Plus there's some over here which I kind of like. Plus there's some down here. Plus there's some over here. Uh, plus I got a bit going over here, which doesn't look too good. Um, I'm going to build a Java moss wall, and I got a piece of uh, plastic knitting. I'm not even sure. It's a square. But it's for knitting. But for um, if you could buy it at the dollar store. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it onto that, and I'm going to put it in the, as a backdrop on my 20 and see if it grows. So that's something to stick around and see what happens. So, the Tetras are all happy. My Corys are all happy. He came over to say hi. They always come over to say hi to me. Hello. Somewhere in here is my... Um, Pleco. Kind of love Corys. Corys are such a cool little fish. There's one of my Daniels. So there we go. That's uh, the end of that. Give you one last look. Well, let's focus in. Still a little cloudy, but I'm very happy. And as for like twelve dollars or eighty pounds for uh, sandblasting sand, just I uh, is just such an awesome deal. I. Uh, I uh, fertilized my tank, so I'm not worried about the sand. Plus, I left a lot of the uh, old uh, fish waste in that in the bottom, so that it would mix in to help fertilize, keep the tank going. And everyone seems to be happy. Some of my plants. 
So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if you like, please uh, subscribe or hit the like button. And uh, thank you again. And I really enjoy doing these things. Okay, just for the end of my videos, I'm going to start doing a shout out for every um, as new people because I believe strongly. I'm very impressed with um, how far I've become in this uh, channel, the YouTube channels. Um, today I discovered just now that I'm at 60, which I never expected because I always I started this whole thing out because my father lives 3,000 miles away. I think it's 3,000. 1500 or 3000 whatever he lives in Manitoba in the middle of Canada in Winnipeg and I live all the way out on the coast and my dad is uh, 94 years old and the whole reason I started this idea of starting a channel was to share with him my aquariums so when we talk he can look at the my videos and I can talk to him about it it was all cool and I've had lots of fun with that um, but the, uh, I never expected to get to 60 and one of the things I would love to do is, and I do love to do is promote people who have small channels so uh, Chaz uh, Chaz's fish tanks I think is his channel he does the same thing he has these live streams if anybody wants check out Chaz punch in Chaz check out Chaz he's really cool um, he puts these live streams on where all he wants to do is promote other people's channels, which is and he plays them well in the live streams. He he does he does nothing but helps people. So there's one I guess one of my shout outs is to Chaz. Um, my second shout out is to Oops. Third Co Coast Aquatics. I'm going to put both these down in uh, links down in my um, section here and I really hope everybody on my channel takes a moment to go check these guys out, subscribe to them, give them a like, let them know that I sent you and uh, I really love how this community has come together and I enjoy the hobby I not only did I think I was going to get back into fish, I never expected to get into YouTube ever and I'm really happy I've done this and I've met some really interesting people. I'd love to, you know, shout out to Sam, Susan and uh, to Deb, um, just a Canadian girl. I love that. She has a channel, Deb. Um, if nobody's checking out Deb, she has a new tank coming. She's all excited. I'm excited. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see her transition and what's going on. I, Susan SLC Aquatics she is just I love to call her mother she is she's such a mother in YouTube um, so that's basically you know like we're here to help each other learn about uh, aquariums help each other learn about fish and I'd also believe strongly we're here to help each other deal with YouTube and how to help promote our channels to make us all great uh, 20 years ago, or 25 years ago, whatever it was now, that I was into aquariums, um, there was no YouTube, there was no internet, I had no computer, I was learning it from how I talked to people and met people, and they're right, they're wrong, I learned, I lost fish, um, I was in the South American cichlids at the time, I used to have a 120, uh, being in an apartment now and restrictions I can't do that so the day will come I'll get back into a house and I'll get my own room again but until then this is what I have to offer so I really like to thank everybody who subscribed to me I'd like to thank everybody who's going to subscribe to me and I would just like I said I'm going to put the links in the bottom all I ask is please go help these people out help promote the hobby the hobby to me now is not just keeping fish it's also doing YouTube and I never expected that to happen I never expected me such a great bunch of people um, Bob from uh, from uh, Steve Ford Aquatics and every oh I just can't even describe everybody um, thank you again